Where are we going, bro? Where are we going? Yeah. Good question. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what, what do you know about where we're what going? That's, that's a better question. I can yeah. answer that one. Uh, we're going to see a guy that is a musician. He's got a studio film in his garden. And we don't know if we're staying tonight. We don't know the vibe. We're, we're just a proper old school recce of seeing what's happening. And they go to the flow, which we do best. Exactly. We've got Hazel on the levers at the front. Yeah. <laughs> People are still alive. And yeah, it's just one of those ones where you get a vibe from someone's music, you chat with them on the phone and you think, I think we're going to get on and we'll come and have a look and see. Could be a little half an hour cup of tea and goodbye. And then we have to find somewhere to park. Although it should be quite easy out here, there's lots of room. Or we might, you know, make friends forever, who knows. Ever since I was a child I've been looking for another excuse. To discover that the earth is the smallest as shape of my roots Underneath the ground, I will find my roots From the loneliest tree to the leaves that We found Pete! The sun. We're alive! I'm Good. just happy we're alive! Good work Hazel! Oh, not bad. oh yes P, how you doing? Good right. yeah. Nice you? to meet you mate. Nice to meet you. Nice view. Hey Si, you right? It's just been a colourful couple of ranks of people. A lot of the circus community in Bath apparently used to be moved out here. Really? A lot of houses squatted and just an interesting mix of you know, lots of trades people and creative people as a ceramicist. Down the That's well. a good word, isn't it? Ceramicist. I like that, that yeah. Oh, it's just such a lovely bunch and such a nice place. And, and there is that. I mean, genuinely is that community. Yeah, I can see that. Your double bassist has one hell of a view from his studio. Little, little herd of uh, yeah, like, dots. So they're alpaca. But if I'm not mistaken, you've been putting together a cabin studio vibe. Done, doing it yourself or a similar vibe with lots of mates from all over the place? This, this thing down here was, I didn't get involved with it anywhere near as much. Okay. Mainly because this half killed me. <laughs> <laughs> and I still haven't finished. Days alone on this journey. That could be a crazy good hot tub. Yeah, but do you know what? <laughs> no, you've been thinking about it. It's been suggested. We did this quite quick because we got married out here. Oh, nice. And this was the bar. Still. Oh, the bar. That's it, though. That's a nice way to, to, do, to, to do architecture, basically, to design backwards from an important moment. Because if it's good enough for that moment, yeah. it's going to be good enough for all the other moments of life as well. I never thought of that, really. Oh, ah, that looks, that looks, looks banging. Nice. I love this. A Gambian friend of mine playing Cora in in this space here. Oh, right. That's all covered in kind of red velvet. Oh, nice. That is a great little sheltered spot. And that's where Ronnie size played in the evening. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. We had a 13-piece Afrobeat wow. band. Oh, wow. Ronnie size playing in your garden. Lovely jubbly. Was, was he? Yeah. So this is your neighbour's garden bit, but they didn't mind having the fence down because you kind of cleared it for them and made it a bit better, so you kind of use it when you need it a bit. That's it. Oh, go on, Hazel. Yeah. I thought so. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, I see it's a willow arch all the way around. It's all all those structure. Yeah, nice. It's like the never-ending garden. I can't believe how big space you have. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Is this large? That's right, yeah. Oh, lovely. All local large. I was going to say, it looks fresh off, the, fresh off the bone. I love it when it's this colour. I'm actually sad when it greys out. Oh, what a banging door that is. Where did you, where'd you a, get it from? One of my best mates. This was the door that I used to go and call for him. Shut up. Oh, Off his, his old house? his parents' old door. Oh my gosh. I love a story behind an old door. You get... and we were talking this, this week about, you know, no, you don't ever see kids that, you know, getting home from school, jumping on their bike and knocking on be like, is Johnny yeah. coming out? <laughs> never happened. I've still got the number on the front of the door as well, yeah. It's a symbol of a whole home, isn't it? There's a whole home behind that door. Oh, nice. Oh, very cool. Oh, that's a nice like hayloft thing you got going on up there. Oh, that is beautiful. My old hut was exactly this size actually. A mid building, and then they put the roof on, and I was like, oh, so spacious. It makes such a massive difference. Look at that <laughs> height, the perception of height. <sighs> the first formal dinner in on this table. Let's hope it doesn't just slide down all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, it'll come at me. I went a little bit hard on the old fish and chips. The amount of times I've been in the back of a curry house and I just thought, if only they had beds here after you've eaten yourself silly. And now I've finally done it. It's a dream come true. Still a part of the dinner, but just from the safety of my 
I'm going to show you schlong. Excuse me, sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. This is our collection for the evening. Quite impressive. Yeah, well, the case, clearly runs through family, you know. I'm not sure what day it is, guys. I think it's day three. Is it day three? Just work it out yourself for some... for once. That was the weakest. Oh, shit, what's that? <laughs> Help me. Help me, I've got to deal with these. This record is another internet win for me, where I heard a tune on Spotify, I got him on the phone, and here we are. This is a very special night for me, I won't forget. Day three, I think, of this tour. Tomorrow we're on to Exeter, for now. We sleep. Look at this kitchen. All scaff board kitchen, you wouldn't believe it. Did you do it all yourself, Pete, or with some hands or Yeah I did, yeah. Amazing. A number of beautiful I'm really into these hanging baskets as well. Very, very nice. What a delightful conversation. Morning conversations are so different to the evening jam, you know, you're not really getting into stuff, you're just enjoying and basking in the beauty I guess, but Go back and have a coffee in the morning. Check out these flowers. And uh, you get into all sorts of stuff. What a delight to be invited into your cabin at this time and your home, Pete and Kelly. Thanks for having us. Good morning. To Exeter we go. I better start making some calls. Heading over the hills to the sound of the song. As uh, fate would have it, not fate really, as serendipity would have it, an old friend called Libby has just bought herself a little brewery this week. I saw it on Instagram and it happens to be in the same town as our other friend Simon is living in, in Silverton. And I guess that's the theme that seems to be emerging, whether it's staying on a new plot of land or sitting in a new cabin, cabin listening to an album that's just come out, or whether we're seeing new babies or now a new brewery, it feels like what this whole week has been about is connecting with and supporting new life that's emerging. And that feels very exciting in a time where the news is telling us and the regulations are telling us that we need to be inside, that things are locking down and closing down. And it's easy to believe that um, hope is gone, that there that we are moving into a new life, but we are. That's the fact that a new world is always being born. And so it feels great to be connecting in with where that new life is emerging on all sorts of different levels, including some beer. <laughs> so let's go. Into my heart, they are running, they are running. Feeling the sparks in my ears. Performers breaking down my fears. I like to feel music. I need to feel music. Lay by. That is just for us, George. Oh, that's for lay by. Hi, yeah. Kev. Hi. Oh, it's my old buddy Libs. from Portugal. Oh. Oh, hello. Jackie, come here. Hey, Jackie. Hello. Wow. This is where I got married. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, this is amazing, Libby. Yeah, so this is like my little garden. This is PJ. Oh, yes, PJ. Oh, this one's cool. This is Harriet. Hello, oh, Harriet. Harriet. That's Hello, Harriet. PJ. Oh, oh, PJ. Oh, fluffy, eh? You didn't look like Mr. Tubnus. My mum converted it into like a spare room, and then when Kevin and I moved back, yeah. we moved in here. So we spent a few weeks doing up. We put in a new kitchen, and then we're going to convert that into another bedroom. Amazing. How long have you guys been back in England then? Uh, 11 huh? months. 11 months. Hey, December. December, right? Mm. December. So as of 
yesterday you announced yesterday we announced we signed the paperwork that you've taken on the x valley brewery yes lovely yeah <laughs> that's beautiful well, congrats you must be so excited how we are i thought that my agenda for 2020 i could throw away in bin but like uh, now not it's, now uh, it's been redeemed now it's been redeemed yeah. Yeah, for the last two months like it's a great pumpkin as well i gotta say but it's one heck of a view up here and here we are the x X Valley Brewery, Silverton. So we just order like one firkin at a time. What's a firkin? <laughs> That's the sign. That's a firkin. Well, you learn learn something every day. This is the first time I've ever opened it by myself. There we go. The atmosphere dun, 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 dun. vibrates my soul. All of my dreams <laughs> are waking up. Where is the music? Give me the music. The curate's choice. Because that's his wife. That was his wife. <laughs> the curate's choice. Oh, gratitude. gratitude. And that's the current one. Yeah, when um, Tempe goes to NHS. Oh, wow. Yeah, we saw a lovely double rainbow on the way here today. It was incredible. Mash one. Um, that's a kettle. This is actually it's massive. an X dairy milk tank. Really? And they converted it to the Alpha Group. <laughs> I'm young and I'm old, it doesn't matter. As the sound lights up my sky, think I am flying. Oh, you got a nice yeah, I'm flying again. That's exciting. That's very exciting. Nice to be able to do something creative as well, like to so generate I, the space. I love the renovation side and yeah. creating space. Like doing it in the barn has just been one of my That's awesome. favorite things. And we've got different types of more. So our expensive malts are over there, so we have like chocolate malt um, All right, and cool. things that are slightly roasted dogger, which you would have had in your winter glow. I see, yeah. That's how you get that richer note. There are hops. And then you leave it here to ferment. Nice. It's creating the alcohol. Because it's real ale, it goes into, these are conditioning tanks. Yeah. And then we can serve from here. And then you get the, you get the goods. And this is all our stock. Oh, a good bit of gratitude in the cake. <laughs> Just behind that fence there is the spring. So talk to us, Kev, what are we looking at? Well, so this is Dob Splitter. Uh, this is one of our most famous and award-winning. Oh, really? Things. And this is straight out of the, out of the, the conditioning tank. I mean, you're a good salesman. Cheers. To the future of X Valley Brewery. Yeah, well done. Cheers. Mm. Sweet. Mm. <laughs> She's seen on the sweet side. So we're in Silverton, in a very residential area, but they've been friendly so far. This is actually the final day now. We're gonna go home tonight, I think. Biden's winning in the polls, apparently. I haven't seen anything. We've got a little jam going on last night. We managed to fulfill a bit of a dream, being a part of playing Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing, which I think is on George's phone, which I'll see if he can send me the clip and I'll show it to you now. We are hopefully going to go to Wimborne to meet one of Hazel's friends, Debs, to see Chris, Hugh, and then to hopefully see some land in Winchester on the way home. Probably like one, zero or minus one last night. Very, very cold. I'll see you in a bit when I'm awake. King, king of the house. Yeah, good mate. But it's baby summer. What, what is in this green delight? Spinach and kale and turmeric yes. and apple. Yes. And are you filming? Maybe a little bit. Uh, spirulina, chlorella. Yeah. Amla. Yeah. Linseed. Uh-huh. Chia seeds. Get you going for the day. That's the most nutritious Guinness you'll ever have, George. <laughs> Does it taste alright? That is good. It tastes healthy, doesn't it? It does. Feeling the sparks in my ears, the form is breaking okay, fair enough. down my fears. Haven't checked the news at all yet today, but let's have a quick peek around. As Trump falsely claims fraud, that is mental that the president of the United States is saying one thing and the BBC is just scared, nah. What a world we're in. Well, 
whatever happens with Trump and Biden, this blue, red, simple cutting people in half is not going to work for us in the future. We've got to figure out a better system that lets us be more human, more diverse, more complex, more unique, more engaged, more involved, more self-determining. Until we do that, we will keep getting this kind of shit happening. We're going to have issues either way, but we've got to figure out the next step to get us beyond blue and red. The tightest I've ever seen, George. Get the bus in somewhere. It's uh, millimetres to spare. Oh, it's, it's epic parking. Epic. It's, it's, it's genius parking. Like One hell of a lunch spot. Just uh, took a bit of a dip in the river. I don't know if George has got a clip, but if he does, I'll stick it in. There he is. Oh, oh it looks absolutely stunning from here. Yeah. <laughs> Keep looking forward. Come on, Dave. <laughs> oh, oh, it's quite nice being taken though, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Hello, hello. Thanks, Hazel. <laughs> Some sweet mushrooms. You should know what they're called now, George. I don't, but all I know is we're following the mushroom trail. Mm. What what a place. It's rare you come across uh, peers in this world. Interested in convening for the sake of creative expression from a place of safety and not needing to know what the result is, but um, what a pleasure, Debs. We'll see, we'll see what the next chapter is. Hugh, here we come. Yep, YouTube. We finally made it to Hugh's unit. How are you, sir? Give you a COVID greeting. And the man himself. Oh my gosh, look at this beast. Look at this beast and look at these guys. Oh, we're gonna have to have a look at this. Lovely. Oh, Let's say someone saw this video and wanted to buy it. What would they buy it for? 13,000, but Nice. Great, well, I think that's a good deal. I think it looks like a peach. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. I love this little, um, the step at the bottom. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Yeah, you boys know what you're doing, don't you? So that pulls out on both sides as well, so there as well. Oh, yeah. Get it. Slidey McGavin. So you can, like, sit down. Oh, Hugh. You naughty, naughty man. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's good. Delicious. If you guys saw the kayaking adventure last year, Ben and Hugh actually met whilst on that together. And now look at this amazing business they've built together. What's the name of your business now? Um, Fern and Birch. Fern and Birch, yes. I've got it on Instagram as well, actually. It looks good, man. Yeah, we did that with this. The CNC router thing. Oh, wow. And it, and it like moves around on the two chairs. So what is, uh, you program it? Yeah, you just basically get like a little design made up on like some CAD software and you can put it through this and it'll oh. cut it out of depth, get the right depth. And that's oh, cool. beautiful. So that goes on there like Sick. that. Sick. And then it bolts on. So I've actually sat on that with my feet on there and it's strong enough to take me. I was like, really? Oh, oh, wicked. Bracing or whatever. The bed mez. I built this today. Yes, mate, this is solid. This is Give me an elbow. Beauty. What have you done to make the roof so strong? Before it was fiberglass. Oh, wow. Yeah. I cut that off. Yeah. And just did like a normal flat roof timber frames construction. Like a boat on walking on top. I know, it's cool, isn't it? Well, eventually I'm going to collect my main water. Tog's coming to have a look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> locked and loaded, baby. Okay. And then, and then it lets you stretch out your back. Holy shit. <laughs> you just have to try and relax. It just, just looks like you're very good at yoga. Wow, I've got a blood rushing to my head. Oh my God, you've got purple. <laughs> purple rain. <laughs> so nice to see Hugh and Ben working together after all this time. And literally, I've been connected to someone through a production company called Sonaz, who's on the repair, I think it's called the repair shop. And I connected these guys ages ago, and I don't think they managed to get together. And then we put in her postcode, and she's five minutes' drive away. So, 
Uh, who knew that Wimborne was going to be a big place on our collective map? But apparently there's uh, quite a few good people in town that could do with connecting. Let's see what she's saying. Welcome. Hey, Sana. This is looking Welcome. good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was her, their great grandmothers, I think. Yeah. And it's been backwards and forwards from Singapore. That's why it's in this fabric. Okay. But our thing is that we care about restoration and those skills that mm. go into it. Mm. But also to make bespoke, which is what this is at the back here, should last 35 years. Oh, so least. you you built this from scratch? Yeah. Oh, so wow. Designed, built it, and then covered it. Like the fabrics are from local companies in Ringwood, Linwood and Ringwood. Okay. So they're low carbon or UK brands. Can luxury be environmentally friendly? Mm. Yes, it can. <laughs> um, so that sofa there, for example. So I've designed it within specific measurements mm. so that virtually no waste of fabric mm. because that's a huge. Issue oh, our trade, um, like that. Sure. which uh, we give our offcuts away. It's more mm. economical cost wise because you're not wasting. Paddy the Apprentice, the learning. Paddy, Paddy the Apprentice. Matt, Matt at the back there, learning. Hello, mate. Matt, Looking then, good. How did you get into all of this? What was the beginning? Supposed to study law, <laughs> rebelled, knew that it wasn't for me, knew that I wasn't academic, and then I actually got an apprenticeship with a, a company because my boyfriend at the time wanted to work for them. That was like his dream, is that why he's no, he wouldn't do it on his, by himself because um, he wasn't confident enough, but an amazing craftsman. So I got an application form for both of us and well I got in and he didn't, but, but I got him in eventually. <laughs> I got him in, I know, it was like awkward kind of moment opening up the envelope. Like, ah, it's like on X Factor where they come as a couple and then they're like, yeah, no, yeah, you can yeah. audition on your own, but not here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, seriously <laughs> awkward. And then fast forward 10 years. After leaving, here we are. Congratulations. So, thank you. That's yeah. really thank cool. You. Really cool. I wouldn't be without my team, obviously. Yeah. Nothing's possible without them. Oh, go on then. Go on then. Yeah, was it empty unit? It was completely empty. Okay. Yes, I saw the floor going in, all this yes. stuff going in a few weeks ago. Exactly. The furnishings area. Beautiful. This is for a big old house in Tisbury. And oh, that is a serious the, material, isn't it? Yeah, so it's like an antique, it's an antique velvet now. But also she's got some William Morris woven fabric here, which well, is like, actually really sought, sought after. Is that, a prof uh, is that a designer I should know about? No, you don't need to know, okay. but really, you should. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking I love that you can decipher the story of this material through a, uh. like adaptions that have been made to it. Yeah, thank you. Know you. I mean? like, that's yeah. really cool. But you kind of look for evidence, and the same with upholstery as well. You can tell a lot from the stuff that's been made, mm. and the same with furniture. Okay. All right, so we'll come down for the full Bournemouth swell experience we'll get get on the yoga mat get in the garden meet some people from the charity and all that yeah i think that'd be super cool encouragement encouragement yeah, goes support. so far yeah. support i've never really properly had that before mm. it's amazing. yeah so so thank you for coming over and I'd, yeah, I'd love to hear about you guys as well it's that, oh, that really enjoyable thank oh, you yeah, thank you you've, you've encouraged great. me listening to oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you yeah, really has really your really energy sweet. is wonderful oh. mm. Where are we, I know who are you? Um, so I'm Holly, <laughs> yeah. um, but basically inherited a bit of land and thought, sod it, over lockdown, we need to be here and we need to make something of it and change our lives completely. So we moved here a month and a half ago. And you were living south of London yeah. or something like that? Yeah, um, north, north London. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to get away from that, that world and I wanted to wake up with the birds. And I know you guys are all watching the pitch black here, but you know, that's just the way it is. It's uh, Wednesday night, the 4th of November, about four hours before lockdown starts in the UK. But we wanted to make this connection. So we were just like, let's do it. We've only got half an hour, but let's, let's just come and be on the land. You can't talk about land. You've got to be there. You've got to actually be present. Oh, that's much more like it. We have got owls here, we've got 20 owls. Tw three. Wow, that's mystical. The only way you would go for a deal like that is, is 
So this is Zoe, your partner in crime. My partner in crime. Yeah. Our kids go to the same schools. Inside there we're going to have like a whole like mud kitchen, fun area where they can just Get be messy. crazy. Even though they, they just use it as a climbing frame really. Oh, Ross is settling already. That yeah, moon's a killer. So this is going to be the new big fire pit. So what is the big vision then? We're standing in this corner under this tree with this fire pit and we've seen the kids stuff. What's the dream? To help people reconnect with nature as it's supposed to be. She will win every time, i.e. Like, Mother Nature. So to, to be friends with her and understand that everything, there's a circle of life to everything and to, to understand nature, that becomes a lot more apparent. And with that, not that you can see me in this video because it's pitch black. Oh, maybe you can, uh, yeah. I got you, bro. I got you. That the floodlights now. That is the end of the pre-lockdown swirl. It's about three hours to lockdown, so we need to get on the road and get back and get the bus parked up and get in our boxes and uh, hatch a new plan. Any thoughts? Any ideas? Anybody want to connect? Let us know as ever. Take care of yourselves and look after each other. I'll see you soon. Thank you.